Oxidation reduction reactions and single replacement reactions. Surprise, surprise. Okay. I'm learning. Fast. It's neat for a change. Now, a single replacement reaction, just empirically, is A plus BX goes to AX plus uh, B. Okay, it's just, a, just kicking the system out. Uh, one that's widely used in uh, electrolysis is zinc plus copper 2 uh, chloride or sulfate, doesn't matter. That's aqueous. Goes to copper, uh, excuse me, zinc chloride. What's copper? Like that. Now, the idea is to identify how changes in oxidation states take place through these. Elements in their basic standard states, like these, are going to be marked with their own oxidation states, which are zero. Elements within the compounds in here, you have to figure them out. Based upon what you've learned on fixed charge versus variable charged elements. Now, looking at the copper chloride, chloride in itself is a fixed charge. Group 7, so you need to check mark your, keep that warm in the back of your mind. Which elements on the periodic chart are fixed charge? Don't worry about the variable charge because the formula will take care of everything else. But you, you need to know who is fixed charge. Now, the overall 2 times a minus 1 is a minus 2 net. See how I did that? I'm getting the total because the sum of charges here must be 0, so that's got to be a plus 2. So now I have assigned all of the oxidation states for the elements involved. Now, what are the changes that take place? Now, something's going to happen from the reactant side to the product side. So zinc is going to change to zinc plus 2. So some people will write brackets like that. And copper will change from a plus 2 to a 0. Now, those numerical changes, 0 to plus 2, I can put them in the brackets, minus 2, to zero are caused by transfer of electrons. I know I'm probably boring you to death with this, but the idea is that oxidation reduction change in those numbers characterizes those reactions as oxidation reduction reactions. When you see the metal faces next time, you'll see that sodium doesn't change from the reactant side to the product side. So, but this does. Now, the next thing is. Going from 0 to a plus 2 makes it go more positive. Now, you can't gain protons, so the only thing that makes this happen in zinc is loss of electrons. So we lost two electrons from the valence now. Well, you might want to make a note if you don't, that didn't stick. Whereas the minus 2 to 0 Okay, uh, we minus two to zero. Let's see. Gain two electrons. No, plus two. Sorry, I knew that didn't look right. Plus two to zero, and in this case, uh, we gained two electrons right there on that one. So, using the terminology uh, from the valence shell, lost. It's oxidation process. Kind of underline process because that's going to make I'm going to make an issue out of that here in a second. And the other one is gain G A I N electrons. This is um, reduction process. Uh, 
anyway, you can take these reactions out like this, zinc, and show it going to zinc plus two plus two electrons, like that. And that illustrates the loss of electrons through the process of oxidation. And the copper uh, aqueous in its nature, that would be aqueous too, will gain those two electrons. You don't really lose or gain, as it's just the terminology. And that goes to your reduced form of copper. That's gain uh, electrons to reduction. For every oxidation, there is an equal reduction. And you have both for any, as redox is a shorthand, for any redox process, the change in oxidation equals the change in reduction. You don't gain more or lose. Oxidation equals reduction and those kind of things. Okay. The last thing is, okay, those were processes. Now I want to talk to you about oxidizing agents and reducing agents. While we're looking at zinc, undergoing oxidation zinc in itself is a reduction reducing agent it causes something else to undergo reduction it loses electrons so it's throwing electrons onto something to making it uh, undergo reduction And the opposite of that is, of course, the oxidizing agent. See, the oxidation process reducing agent. So if you identify the process, the element or substance is the agent. And then you have uh, copper plus two gaining a couple of electrons going to reduced form of copper. This, of course, is the reduction process. But copper is an oxidizing agent. It sucks the electrons off of the reducing agent. So in today's work, what we've tried to do is classify types of reactions, introduce you to the concepts of mass balance, uh, balancing equations. You should go in and find you some worksheets on uh, balancing chemical equations. We can, I, I could sit here all day long and balance equations for you, but I don't think it would do any good. Uh, it just wastes a lot of time when we've got other topics that need to be covered. I think if you don't understand what the basic idea of balancing chemical equations, now look, until we get into uh, electrochemistry in the second semester, everything will be by inspection. We're not going to do the uh, rules of oxidation reduction balancing at this point in time. I need to save that to when we get to uh, the deeper part. Now, I want to give you, a, I'll probably give you two quizzes. I gave enough material to cover two quizzes, two five question quizzes, and then we'll do the metathesis, metathesis worksheet, and you'll find that that will go very quickly. Then we'll go to the lab and cook the uh, magnesium into magnesium oxide, do a couple calculations, 
early in the week. So uh, if you have any questions, certainly send me. Oh, there was a question that was brought up. I got it now in email. It's confusing about the. Uh, let me cut this off. Oh, just a second. 